Hey everybody, welcome back to another Remnant 2 guide. Uh, so, this dungeon, if I'm not mistaken, has two or three renditions of it. Um, each one containing different secrets and different puzzles. Um, today I'm going to be showing you where the secret boss is, and uh, how to open the locked red door. Um, there is still one encounter that I'm trying to get myself, but this dungeon's rare enough drop as is that I'm not getting the best luck to it, but it's the music tower, which uh, I will show y'all the code of how to solve that music tower, but I haven't gotten the music tower itself to spawn yet, but uh, I'll show you where it's most likely going to spawn, and uh, different possible locations inside the dungeon for the second boss atrophy to spawn uh, and that's the uh, boss that drops the bullet weaver mutation so uh, starting off starting off at the uh, the beginning of the dungeon we're gonna go this way and we're gonna be starting off with uh, getting atrophy the secret boss so we're gonna be going this way now First off, I'm showing you the location it spawned for me. Um, you're going to be looking for this. It's going to look exactly like this. It's a slightly raised platform with a pan statue and a little lantern off to the side. All right, And there's going to be a group of pots here. Um, you got to break those and you'll see a drop down point. Just pop in, go this way, and there's a little location. Um, you should go up here. First off, and pick up the Burden of the Follower. It spawns right here on this little bookshelf. Uh, get, grab your chest, the little goodies, um, and quick, small detour. Uh, over here, if you do end up getting the music encounter, these are the songs to solving the music tower. Each level of the music tower has a different shaped note on the bottom. You play it in this order, so stand on each plate that has the symbol for three seconds. And then move on to the next one. Now, the second puzzle, or the second song you need to play, is co-op. And that is the second co-op puzzle in this dungeon. The other one is the red door. You need a teammate to do that. So the way it works is, you play this song just like the first one, but you and your teammate need to step on the notes at the same time. So you're playing two notes uh, in order. One through four. So, um... Just showing y'all the whole tidbit for if you get the uh, the music tower, the wind tower. Um, now, the where the boss is, is there's a pressure plate right here. And it opens the door. You come down here. And it's going to spawn in the boss, Atrophy. Now, um, fight him, kill him. He gives you the Bullet Weaver Mutator, which absolutely amazing uh, activate your the mod in your gun and it gives you uh, a fire rate bonus it's super nice and then to get out you step on this platform right here opens the door across the room now trick to getting out of here you need to jump and climb up otherwise you're not fast enough to get out just a little tip um all right then I, then I get my way out and then there is another little drop-down area that's, I'm pretty sure, guaranteed to spawn as well if you get Atrophy. And it's just it just leads to a chest, but I'll show you what it looks like. Um, let's see. So, um, so this was the Atrophy drop-down, this little lit statue. And then off to the side, an unlit one, a little hole in the wall. There's going to be a little drop down. And that just leads to a straight path and then a ladder, and then it takes you to a chest. Now, where those spawn for everybody else, um, what you're going to be looking for is these little kind of notches. If you can see those like little floating bits, um, look for those on your map, and that's more than likely where it's going to be. For most other people... That drop-down bit spawns in the tile set before the final checkpoint. So, for most other people, it spawns right about here. Um, pretty much everyone else I've seen do this. There's, so the final room's right over there. You come straight this way, and theirs is like right here or right here. 
Okay, so um, if yours doesn't spawn where mine did, which is over here, then it's probably spawning over here somewhere. Um, both drop downs should uh, load in the same square chunk of the map because that is the procedurally generated part. So if you find one drop down, the other one should be very close by. Now, the red door puzzle. As everyone knows, the uh, in infamous Andaria's end uh, platforming, or the, the pressure plate puzzle. Fun fact, this pressure plate opens another door that you don't know about. So, you step on this, wait for the doors to open. Now, this is where the co-op part comes in. Someone stays on this pressure plate. It opens this door, yes. But, while that door's open, it also opens this door over here. There's a, there's a pressure plate door right here. That opens up so that one person can go through, go through the back way, open the red door, and then now you have access to this bonus area, which is the saw blade section. Now, in the saw blade session, there is another pressure plate, which opens the door at the end of the tunnel. It's right there. Oh, which opens even more sections. Hold on. What's over here? Apparently nothing. Safety from the, uh... Saw blades, I guess. As you see, it opens this wall at the end of the hallway. Uh -oh. this ain't good. Now in here, you'll find a little ring here, which is the captain... Something... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The Captain's Insignia, which is revive speed and relic consume speed per downed or dead ally. Super useful. And finally, the last secret, which does not spawn for me for some reason, is the Wind Music Tower. Now, this spawns most commonly in this so if you spawn in and you've got a little rectangle uh, the little square for the main encounter and the, this spawns off to the right it's usually spawning in this top right corner doesn't spawn there for everybody but that is where the, most people say it spawns let me show you real quick it usually spawns in the far corner and you can just dodge roll against the wall and you should be able to go through i believe it's an illusionary wall that it takes you through but for me it didn't spawn and as i've seen most people are saying this spawns in the other version of the map but it should be this wall right here if i'm not mistaken this top right corner so and as i showed you the the two different uh songs to play in the tower and more or less how to play it if you actually get to the tower you'll you'll know more or less what i mean but that second song is another co-op puzzle so you need a teammate to complete it you, there's honestly no way to do it solo uh, just like the red door you need a teammate to open that first door and that second door for you but anyways this has been another no nonsense guide uh, i'm showing off as much as i can uh I, there's not the I can't do everything because it is procedurally generated and I haven't been able to get the, the music tower to spawn yet, but this specific dungeon is full of tons and tons of secrets and two boss fights. Who knew? But uh, thanks for coming and watching. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, leave a comment or a like down below so I know it has been helpful. Uh, if there's other things you're looking for in this game or guides or anything, I'm making tons of guides and, <coughs> and tutorials and places to find things as best I can. Uh, so if any of that sounds interesting, go ahead and check that out. And uh, I've been Vertigo, you've been you. Thanks for coming and watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.